My name is Aaron Rubik. I made the cube. Probably you heard about it. Tell us a little bit about your engineering and architecture training and background. Uh, I studied architecture at the university, Technical University in Budapest. And uh, when I finished my school, I already at once I started to teach. Uh, there was a special course that I was lecturing, what we called form studies. Form studies uh, meant uh, to create different forms and shapes without a special function. The cube was a very basic form, uh, capable to change uh, its places uh, and uh, positions in space. I recognized the possibilities of the movement and, and uh, in the same time I recognized how difficult to, to go back. And when I finished uh, uh, my work and I found solution for that, just in that time I realized it as a puzzle. Do you remember the first time you saw the Rubik's Cube and how long did it take you? The knowledge that you can find now on the internet in connection how to do it, how to solve the cube, uh, tremendous. So it's, uh, nowadays it's much more easy to, to work it out because you can help. For me there was no help, uh, so I was alone. Uh, I spent several months to do it and uh, finally I succeeded. So that was a, a great enthusiasm for me. The world record for solving a Rubik's Cube is about seven seconds. What is your best time? Uh, I remember I was visiting uh, many toy fairs and I, uh, demonstrating the possibility of the cube f to the trade. And in that time, my average time was about one minute, but it's very poor according to the times which are now on the competitions, which is uh, nowadays it's close to 10 seconds. Why do you think the cube is so popular? It's a challenge, uh, <clears throat> a very difficult one, uh, that made the difficulties when we tried to introduce it on the market because the, the common sense uh, for the trade was it is too difficult for, to the public. Nobody can do it and, and uh, it's too hard, it's not childish enough, it's not uh, something that is similar what the what is on the market and uh, they were very pessimistic about it. Mm, for me the greatest mm, result is the Q proved that the public is not, is different what the, the trade imagine. Uh, it's the public is much better than what they are expecting. At the very beginning it was without any pub, uh, advertising and the, the, the cube became popular uh, <clears throat> in Hungary and later on worldwide. How does the new Rubik's 360 compare to original Rubik's cube? This new item, <coughs> uh, what is the latest one <coughs> in the Rubik brand, uh, uh, looks like this. And uh, according to the cube, you can see the big differences. The main structure of this is uh, there are spheres uh, built in each other. Uh, there is three of them. One is the outside and built in two uh, more. And they can rotate. At the very beginning, uh, the challenge is all of the small colored ball is in the middle and your task is to escape them from the center and go take it off and uh, place it into their place, uh, which are colored with these colored rings. How did you come up with this new design in this puzzle? All the time there is a need to have something else, something new, and we are searching uh, possibilities uh, which are really different. It's not a variation of the cube, what is very important, it was very important in our, uh, uh, as in our goal, uh, it's, it's really different.